Hey there, YouTube. So several years ago, I posted a video um, called Electric to Gas Golf Cart Conversion. Now, I'll be quite honest with you, it was about, I think it's the most viewed video on the channel, which I don't, I don't have a lot of videos and my channel's not all that big at all because I never upload anything. But, uh, it was, even though it was the most viewed video, I think it was the fucking worst video I've ever put on YouTube, to be honest with you. Um, and I think I, I, I made it when I was 16, I had no money, uh, no job, um, not a lot of experience, not a lot of tools. Um, now I'm 24. So, uh, lots changed. And that golf cart sat and rotted behind a shed for somewhere around eight years before I decided, you know, I think it's about time I actually give it a give it a go and see if I can bring it back. So over the last few months, um, I've been buying parts. I've been doing a lot of work on it, and I just wanted to make kind of like a one no edits video, something to just kind of upload and you know give a status update of, of the golf cart um, and I've got a bunch of videos that I've made uh, that I'm planning on kind of editing together clipping together um, to uh, you know kind of kind of wrap up the what happened to the uh, electric to gas golf cart conversion because it is still a thing it's completely changed It is nothing like the previous video now it's, I mean, what I was trying to do back then would not have worked at all. So, this is going to be it. And this is she. So, we've got our engine plate here. Um, got a big cut out of it. Brand new Predator motor thrown in there. Uh, brand new torque converter on it. Uh, got a chain connected. Put a rear end out of an 86 Easy Go Marathon in it because this rear end had uh, drum brakes and the uh, input shaft came out sideways rather than forward. And when it came out forward, the problem was if I put the motor shaft lined up with it and just put a you know a chain and a sprocket between them, it would have um, it, it wouldn't have worked because. Uh, it would have spun it backwards so that's why in the in the old video uh, I had the motor with the output shaft pointing that way and then I had it with a chain linking to like an electric motor as a shaft and I was gonna put another sprocket over here and then sprocket that to the to the out, uh, input shaft of the uh, the rear def differential on that so I pulled an 86 um, rear end out of a cart that I seen and uh, I contacted the guy and he's like yeah you can pull the rear end out of it and he charged me out the ass for it I'm telling you but he wasn't ever gonna do anything with it but he took advantage of the fact I needed it so um, now it was a matter of the engine this way or engine that way and it turned out being this way is what made it go forward um, so we've got uh, our uh, sprocket hooked up I think that's a one and an eighth inch bore there um, this was the electric motor housing um, and I cut off the entire kind of like bell of the housing and uh, just you know shaved it down to just a bare necessity so I could kind of have easy access to this um, so things I've done recently I mean obviously I mounted this chain tensioner here um, which seems to be working for for what I need um, I don't have I have a welder it's broken and I don't know how to weld so everything is a nut and bolt um, but that's that's kind of a next step for me to kind of learn how to weld fix that welder and kind of learn how to use it um, I've got if you can see shiny new easy go rear brakes I mean uh, drum the entire assembly is brand new on both sides um, and I've uh, I cleaned out the insides of the drums and, and threw them on there so the brakes are ready to go I need some new brake cables this is the old over here 
Um, so I need to find some new brake cables. And since this rear end is out of an 86 and the rest of the cart's a 78, I'm gonna have to figure out how to link the rear brake cables up to the front brake pedal. As for the throttle, um, stainless steel rod connected with these little connectors here. Um, that goes to the pedal, turns it into a throttle cable right here with a little crimped on bit to kind of hold the cable looped around it, a hole in it. And it's down so far because this movement up here, very little, there's not a lot. And you can see this pedal all the way to the ground. So we've got to turn this big movement into a small one and that's what this is for. That's a big movement but the lower I go on that on that shaft there, the smaller the movement turns into the cable there. So that actually brings it full throttle. Even though it's only a little movement, that is full throttle all the way on the carburetor. Um, so I figure, just kind of an update. Figured it was a good time. Shake, I don't have a lot of gas in here. Try to shake some gas into it. Turn her on, choke on. Make sure she's got some gas. This is all temporary, you know, until I mock everything up. Um, I mean, I've cut out a new seat. Uh, I've got to paint it white still. It's kind of my first attempt at painting white without primer. Uh -huh. I painted the entire frame. I had to repair the frame. It was completely rotted in half. I bolted it together with some, uh, I think it was some 3 8 inch uh, steel plate on both sides. Um, and on both sides of the cart too. So that works. You can see I bolted the engine plate down a lot better than it used to be. Um, did a lot of cutting, did a lot of frame repair, did some frame repair here um, so that these side panels here are actually pretty solid. You can stand on them um, on both sides here. So we're gonna give her a start chokes on. It does work. I have drove it. video kind of an update on it doing some paint and body still put the body panels the fenders back on I got one over here that I've uh, painted this blue ready it's gonna go on this side like that and the other one over there obviously I haven't painted it yet and then I've got the front end to do here and the seats I'm gonna uh, paint white the boards uh, a little bit more Black brush on rust -Oleum paint, just some touch up areas uh, there. Some new plate, uh, new mounting plates, and stuff I added. This is a stainless steel engine mounting plate, so that doesn't really need to be painted. Uh, stainless steel rod, like I said. Um, so, just a few things here and there that are gonna get paint. This guy, a um, few, few spots I missed here and there. Some plate down there and everything. I think they're actually, I think that's his zinc. So I think that stuff's all right. But, um, yep, just a quick little update on the golf cart. It is still a thing. It is still a go and it is almost done. 